How many birthday bumps can a human being actually take? So hostel is a place that is very close to my heart because I have spent almost a decade of my life living on my own, mostly in hostels or various medical college campuses. Hostel is such a place where you are forced to stay, but it is very fun and it makes you enjoy it. Who knew that the carefree days we spent in the hostel would eventually shape our personality for the rest of our lives. The idea of this video is to share all the life lessons that I picked up through my years spent in hostels and bring everyone up to speed on what you can learn when you stay on your own independently. The first lesson that I learned was around managing money. Now hostel is a place where you truly realize the meaning of the words less is more and it mostly applies to money more than anything else. Now back in the day when I was at hostel most of my expenses the money which I would get was decided by the pocket money which I had to ask to my parents. That was generally the norm with all my friends and everybody whom my batchmates the people that I stayed with in the hostel. The problem was that you would get money uh, for basic needs and there was not much of a scope for luxurious spendings on things that you wanted. So here I learned the difference between spending money on things you need versus spending money on things that you want. This was also the reason that I began choosing experiences over things because let's face it, going on a hike or a trek with your friends uh, was far cheaper than having the money to buy the latest cell phone or that shiny pair of sneakers. The next lesson that I learned in the hostel is to test your limits. Now if there's one thing that you have in plenty in a hostel is freedom to do anything that you want. Now imagine 18 to 25 year old kids put in a building all together and completely left unsupervised. Very soon it becomes a testing ground for new experiences and a test of patience for the hostel rector. It is over here that I realized how much is too much. Can I stay awake for 24 hours? Can I sleep straight for 24 hours? How much coffee can I actually drink before I become an insomniac? How much alcohol can you actually drink before you black out? How much alcohol do you need to stay high for 24 hours? How much do you need to study to just make it through your exams? How many birthday bumps can a human being actually take? How does the cake taste after you scrape it off somebody's face? So if you've never stayed in a hostel, try pushing your envelope a little bit further once in a while and you will be surprised at how much you are capable of. Third lesson that I picked up in the hostel was around building my own personality. Now one of the things that I absolutely hated was being ragged or being part of any ragging episode. As much as I hated uh, feeling weak and helpless, it also made me smarter day by day. By this time, I had learned to observe people. I tried to figure out what are the intentions of the person, which ones are your true friends and which ones are the pretentious friends, which ones are the ones you can depend on in times of need or the ones which are only there in good times and are never to be seen in real times of need and difficulty. It was a lesson in reading people, in building personality, in picking up cues and personality traits from people who are good, who are helpful, who are bold and confident and imbibing them into your own personality, your own way of thinking and acting. Stuff about talking to your friends, talking to your enemies, talking to your professors, your seniors, your juniors, boys, girls, etc, etc. Everything has an art of its own. And uh, from mass bunks to heartbreaks, I would say that hostel never ever disappointed me. The next thing that the hostel gave me that I've come to love and has defined my personality, my identity, are the extracurricular hobbies and passions that I enjoy. Whether it is photography or making videos or traveling or exercising or reading, all of these things 
have come from my years spent in the hostel and mainly because there was so much time and so less to do even in a medical college. It is in the hostel that I realized the importance of having a life outside the classroom and the curriculum which led me to discover and explore so many different hobbies and activities and meet people uh, which I don't think would have been possible otherwise once you have to live your life as an adult and you get busier with bigger responsibilities and lesser amount of time. <laughs> So if there's one thing I can tell you is to rediscover the hobbies which you faintly vaguely remember you once had and who knows you might be in for a pleasant surprise. When we advise somebody we easily say that sharing is caring but you can only realize how annoying sharing can be if you spend enough time inside a hostel. I guess it is the same care a damn attitude that allows me to go on cheap trips to exotic places stay in backpacker dormitories and become friends with strangers quite easily. The next lesson is around surviving on street food. You only realize the importance of home cooked food after spending years on a diet of a hostel canteen. These days what we eat is dictated by the fancy new diet that we are following. It is possible to think of something you want to eat and tap a few buttons on your phone and it will magically appear at your doorstep within a matter of minutes. So this is the unboxing video of the calories of But back in the day, there were only two options. Either cook your own food or survive on street food. And more often than not, I chose to survive on street food. Since I was also a fitness enthusiast, it taught me how to choose good healthy stuff even while you are eating on a street food joint. How to resist temptation of eating junk and realizing that it is okay to eat at less than hygienic places if your food is piping and steaming hot. The last and I think the most important lesson that I picked up from my days at the hostel was how to be a street smart person. Now, in medical college, you basically are trained to become a bookworm. You, your, your main area of expertise is to remember, understand, analyze what is written inside the book. But to live a real life outside the college campus, there are more skills that you need to know. You need to be able to think fast on the go. You need to be able to identify people on the basis of how they think and act rather than how they speak and look. All of this comes under the umbrella of being a street smart person. Basically, the hostel teaches you how to make friends, handle loneliness, cook up a meal and see your friends appear out of nowhere, how to cheer for your team or how to goof around all day. When I look back, I wonder if I would not have done all these seemingly unimportant waste of a time things, then how boring and colorless my life would have been.